The efficient market hypothesis is the idea that financial markets quickly and accurately reflect all available information, making it impossible for investors to consistently outperform the market by picking individual stocks or timing trades. According to this theory, stock prices adjust immediately whenever new information becomes available, meaning no one has an advantage in predicting future price movements. Because of this, the hypothesis suggests that attempting to beat the market is pointless since all relevant data is already included in stock prices. Instead, the best strategy for most investors is to invest in a broad market index rather than searching for undervalued stocks or predicting trends. The efficient market hypothesis was developed in the 20th century by economist Eugene Farmer, who introduced the idea in the 1960s. He built on earlier research suggesting that stock prices follow a random pattern and cannot be consistently predicted. His work categorised market efficiency into three levels, weak, semi-strong and strong. Weak efficiency suggests that past price movements do not help predict future prices. Semi-strong efficiency argues that all publicly available information is already reflected in stock prices. And strong efficiency claims that even inside information is incorporated into prices. This theory became highly influential in the study of financial markets, shaping academic research and investment strategies. Now let's look at some examples of how the efficient market hypothesis appears in real-world investing. One example is how stock prices react to earnings reports. If a company announces higher than expected profits, its stock price typically rises immediately because the new information is quickly processed by investors. Another example is index fund investing. Since the hypothesis suggests that beating the market consistently is unlikely, many investors choose index funds, which passively track the overall market, instead of trying to select individual stocks. A third example is the rapid response of markets to major news events. If a government announces a new economic policy or a central bank changes interest rates, stock prices adjust almost instantly to reflect the new expectations, supporting the idea that markets process information efficiently. One strength of the efficient market hypothesis is that it explains why most actively managed investment strategies fail to consistently outperform the market. Research has shown that professional investors rarely achieve long-term returns higher than simple index funds, supporting the idea that markets quickly adjust to new information. Another strength is that the hypothesis encourages passive investing, which reduces costs and risks for investors. By following the idea that the market cannot be beaten, people can focus on long-term investment strategies rather than short-term speculation. Additionally, the efficient market hypothesis provides a logical explanation for why stock prices reflect all available information, making it a useful framework for understanding market behaviour. One weakness of the efficient market hypothesis is that it assumes investors always act rationally. But in reality, emotions and biases often influence market behaviour. Market bubbles and crashes occur when investors collectively make irrational decisions contradicting the idea that prices always reflect true value. Another weakness is that some investors have been able to outperform the market, suggesting that opportunities for above-average returns exist. Certain strategies, such as value investing, have shown periods of success, raising doubts about whether markets are always perfectly efficient. There are several alternative theories that challenge the efficient market hypothesis. One alternative is behavioural finance, which argues that psychological biases cause investors to act irrationally, leading to market inefficiencies. This theory explains why stock prices sometimes become overvalued or undervalued due to herd behaviour, fear or greed. Another alternative is the adaptive market hypothesis, which suggests that markets evolve over time and can be efficient in some situations, but inefficient in others. This theory combines ideas from the efficient market hypothesis and behavioural finance to create a more flexible understanding of market behaviour.